zeige Ihnen jetzt. I would like to show you how you can quickly and easily commission the safety integrated functions of the Synamics S120 with Start Drive. Then I'll write a failsafe program in the S7-1500F, so that the drive safety integrated functions can be controlled via Profisafe. To do this, I've brought two demo cases, a Symatic S7-1500 failsafe demo case and a Synamics S120 drive demo case. I will now describe in detail how it all works in the TIA portal. I have prepared a project using a failsafe Symatic S7-1513 and a Synamics S120 with CU-320-2. The components are interconnected via Profinet and controlled via the Symatic S7-1500 technology function. Now, let's get started. I have added two commands to the watch table and now we can enable the axis. We can hear that the fan in the drive box has also started. With the second command we start the drive and now we also see that the red axis is rotating. Now we'll stop the drive again. For a detailed description of how to program the technology objects and control them via Profinet, watch the video entitled Profinet as a drive bus. Now we will continue commissioning the safety integrated functions. First we go offline from the controller. Open the network view and select Synamics S120. Then we change to the device view and click the Profinet interface. We select the interface properties, I will zoom in a little and want to add a safety telegram to the first axis. In the example we will use Profisafe Telegram 30. We then download the configuration with the new telegram directly to the Synamics S120. We won't copy the RAM to the ROM right now because we want to make a few adjustments later on and can then permanently save the data in the drive. Once the download is completed, we go online to the Synamics S120 Select Axis 1 and go to the parameters. Here we go to the drive functions. Safety integrated, select functions. Now we see a message that tells us that the safety parameters can be edited only in edit mode. Next we want the extended safety integrated functions and want to control everything via Profisafe. Actually, we could finish the safety commissioning now but I would like to explain a few details about the safety screens while I have them open. Here we see that some of the fields are shown in color, while others are grayed out. Grayed out means that a function is currently inactive. The rest of the detailed parameterization can't be performed until the function is activated. Now we select for example safe direction. When the detailed configuration of safe direction is open, we can enter some additional data and when we go to the diagnostics of the safety integrated functions, we see that safe direction has been added. When we return to function selection and deselect safe direction, we see that everything in the diagnostics has now disappeared. Here the tool has become so smart that it displays only the information that we really need. Okay, now we want to complete the commissioning process. In the first step, we copy the data from the RAM to the ROM so that the data is permanently saved in the drive. The reason we do this is because after a safety commissioning the drive requires a power on reset, meaning that it has to be switched off and on again. That's why the data needs to be permanently saved in the drive. Now we will perform the entire operation. First we go offline with start drive and switch the drive off and on again. While the drive is starting up we can continue S7-1500 programming. We first open the S7-1500 failsafe program. We will want to insert a module from the library. The name of the library is L-Drive-Safe. 
It is available free of charge from the Siemens support portal. In the library, we want to go to Master Copies and select a controller, in this case the S7-1500. Then we go to the control word for Telegram 30. Here there are two modules, one for Synamics G and one for Synamics S. We drag and drop the module for Synamics S. Then we see the interface to all Synamics S120 safety functions. We must now assign a signal for the STO input. In the example we will now assign a flag. Although flags are not normally used in the failsafe program, it is ok now for the sake of the example. We name the flag 0.2. Rename the variable in safe torque off. And now we still have to assign the Profisafe telegram. We can obtain more detailed information about the Profisafe address using the module's help function. To open it, we just select the module and press Shift F1. Here we have a general description of the module. We can now see what the inputs and outputs are doing and we can also go to the detailed description to see exactly how the Profisafe address should be specified. In the example we have to create a variable here. Telegram type L drive safe, type telegram 30, synamics S or G depending on what we are addressing and then we find the address in the hardware configuration. We find the data type here on the right side in the library and we drag the data type to the project and create a variable with the data type. So now we have Profisafe S120 Telegram type L drive safe Telegram 30. Now we need the address. We can find the address in the hardware configuration. We click the Profinet interface, enlarge the properties a little and here we see that Telegram 30 starts in the output area 282. We then return to the variable Say here that the output is 282.0 and then we drag the variable and drop it directly onto the module. Now we have finished the failsafe program and can download everything to the controller. The failsafe program is now being converted. Once the conversion is complete, we can start the loading process. The controller is now set to the stop state. Once the loading process has been successfully completed, we can restart the controller. But now we see that the drive has an error message. This is because the controller was stopped. We go online to the drive and acknowledge the error. Then we go to Diagnostics, select the error message from the drive and acknowledge the error message. Now the drive is green, the controller is green and we can test the control unit. To do so we reopen the watch table from before and add the save torque off variable. We must assign a high signal to the variable so that the drive will be ready for operation. Safety signals must always have a high level. Then we issue the ON command to the axis. We can hear that the fan is running. Now we can start the red axis rotating, remove the failsafe signal, set the safe torque of input to zero and as you can see the red axis slows to a stop. Now we can also view the drive diagnostics. We go to the drive function parameters, safety integrated and view the diagnostics. Here we can now also see that safe torque off is activated and that there has been a failsafe shutdown of the drive. Now we are finished and I hope I was able to show you how easy it is to control the safety integrated functions of the Synamics S120 via Profisafe. Siemens. 
Ingenuity for life.